do the laws of the universe also change with time? So how do I interpret what you're asking? Basically, what you're asking is two different things. Firstly, do the equations of quantum mechanics and quantum field theory and do the equations of general relativity, do these equations themselves change with time? So that is part one of your question. And part two is, do the strengths of the forces of nature change with time? So we know about four forces of nature, uh, the strong nuclear force, the weak nuclear force, electromagnetism, and the force of gravitation. These are four forces that we know of. There may be others that we don't know of. So do the strengths of these forces also change with time? That's the, this, so these are two questions you're asking. So as far as we know, the equations that govern quantum mechanics, quantum field theory, and the equations of general relativity, as far as we know, to the best of our knowledge, they do not appear to change with time. So to the best of our knowledge, no to that part of the question. Do, do the, does the strength of the forces, do the strengths of the forces change with time? It appears that it does. So we know that it is known for a fact, I mean, it is known, strongly known, I could I would say, it's known that uh, in the very, so the, so the best theory that we have tells us that in the very initial moments after the, after the Big Bang, all four forces had the same strength. And then various forces decoupled. So that was the, the time when you had grand unification. All four forces were combined into one single unified force. And that is the grand unified theory that everyone is, all physicists are, are seeking. That is, the, that is the end point of physics, to, so to say. One equation that governs the entire universe. So, so at the very beginning, in the very first moments of the, after the Big Bang, it is believed that all four forces had the same strength. They were combined into one single unified force. And then the various forces decoupled and they, uh, they acquired different strengths. And gravitation, the force of gravity, is today the weakest force of all. It is, it is many, many orders of magnitude weaker than the nearest uh, comparable force. So that is what we know. So definitely we know that the strengths of the forces have changed since the initial moments after the Big Bang. Now, what is also known right now is that the strength of the electromagnetic force seems to be different very in, in very small amounts in different parts of the universe. There is something called the fine structure constant. It is denoted by the letter alpha, the Greek letter alpha. So this fine structure constant quantifies the strength of the electromagnetic interaction. So it is essentially a measure of the strength of the electromagnetic force. And over the past decade or so, there have been hints, various observations from observations, that the strength of the fine, the, the, uh, the fine structure con constant, which is the number, it, its value may be different to a very small degree in different parts of the universe. So it may kind of uh, indicate that the laws of nature the strengths of the forces may be different in, in different parts of the universe. It is a tentative finding. It is not yet 100% confirmed, but it does give telltale signs or indications that the universe may be stranger than we actually think it is. The laws, this, the forces that we experience here may not be the same forces you may experience in a very far off distant corner of the universe. Maybe there's a north and south to the universe itself with different uh, strengths of the forces. So there is definitely very much a possibility and it's a very intriguing possibility. So that would indicate that there is much more to the laws of nature than we understand. Maybe we have a very basic rudimentary surface level understanding of the laws of nature. So that's a very good question and uh, we need more data to uncover more about this but yes there is definitely the there is definitely data that seems to indicate that that uh, the strength at least of the electromagnetic force may vary it may be different in different parts of the universe very interesting uh, question